Hi friends, as always, I'm very excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, research and statistics on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Zotero is a free and easy to use tool for collecting, organizing, citing and sharing research. Let's see how to use Zotero for citation in this video. In this video. There are at least four different ways in which we can get in references into the Zotero library. So we begin with first downloading Zotero from Zotero.org. So we can see this big download button here. And Zotero, as we know, is a free, easy to use tool to help us collect, organize, annotate, cite and share research. So you need to click on to this download and install it on your computer. Then another very important thing that needs to be done is to install the Zotero connector. Since I am using Chrome, I have already installed Zotero connector as a Chrome extension. Uh, here it shows me remove from Chrome, but if you're installing it for the first time, it will show you install and it will be installed here as you can see save to Zotero web page with support. So this this icon is what we will get on the Chrome browser after this has been installed and once we've installed both Zotero and Zotero connector, we are good to go. So this is what the Zotero interface looks like. As we can see, there are four different sections here. This is the section which gives us information about uh, the library and everything that has been stored. This is about the tags. So whenever uh, we see tags, we'll see it here. This is the section where we'll get information about all the articles that are imported into Zotero. And this is the main window where we will import references. So this is where we start. We can see here, this is where we add a new item. This is where we add a new item by identifier. And this is where we add a new note. And this is where we add an attachment. Similarly, here we can add a new collection and we can add a new library. So uh, let's begin with the manual way. So let's start with a book. So this is the information or this is how we enter information into Zotero by typing in all the information that is required. So for example, let's talk about fictitious book, Indian cricket redefined. I'll just give very short names. So the name, for example, it is Kohli. The first name is Virat. And as we know, another information that's required is, so we are telling that this is the author. There's a drop down list that's asking whether it's an author or an editor, etc. So we'll have to tell that's the author. Publisher, let's call it the USP publisher. Place, let's say it's Kolkata. And that's all, for example. So this is what has been created. I have created a new book. You can see this icon. This is the book. And this is what I have here on my. Zotero library. So inside the library, I have created one entry. That's a book called Indian Cricket Redefined. So let's see uh, what are the other ways in which I can get it on Zotero. For example, I begin with an Indian Press book. So this is the book uh, Indian Press, A History of the Growth of Public Opinion. And I want to add it to my list of references as you can see here this particular Zotero icon has now turned into blue book so this is a book as we can see here so the moment I click it here it will be added to my library so let's go back to the library and see there this particular book has been added to the library and all the details as we can see are available here itself so it has taken in all the details from the website and it tells me the item type is book. It's telling me the title. It's telling me the name of the author, the publisher, the date, the number of pages. It's telling me that the library catalog is Google Books. And this is the information that has been added here. So this is a very simple way of adding a reference into Zotero. The third way I can do is by going to Google Scholar, for example. 
so this is a list of uh, books that google scholar is showing me for journalism pedagogy if you see this icon here it has changed to yellow here it's like a folder having a number of books there so if i click this folder here i can see all these books which are there on this list for example mobile learning rethinking the future of journalism etc so this is what zotero is asking me whether i want to include it into the reference list include one two three four five if i press ok i will see that all these things are being saved to my library and now i can see that these have been saved to my library and if i go back to zotero again i can see that all these books are a part of the library now if you see this one i can see a pdf icon here and if i just see the drop down i can see that the full text has been added to my zotero library so for those articles for which a full pdf is available it will be directly added to my zotero library the other way is by using pdfs which i already might have so for example i have two pdfs on my uh, my documents so one is on teaching data journalism so what i need to do is to drag these two pdfs into the library so i just click and drag these two onto the library I will see that these are being processed. So now this PDF which I've just dragged all the details about that PDF have now been added to the list here. So Data journalism teaching ta uh, fast and slow. It's from Asia Pacific Media Educator. The volume, the issue, the pages, all the information have been put here. We can also use Zotero to add information from websites for example. So this is from one of my uh, website pages on women in media and i can see that the icon here now is of a blog post so if i just click it i can add it to my zotero library again so let me go back to zotero library and i can see that it, it that the author is uma shankar pandey the title is women in media this is a blog post uh, i can get the abstract and i get the blog title etc if so all this information is easily has been added to the library in a matter of few seconds we can also use another way of adding information if i have access to doi for example and i want to find out a reference into the list it's by identifier so the second uh, icon you can see is here adding items by identifier I, I can either enter an isbn or a doi or a pmid or an archive id so since i have taken this doi i just need to click and enter this has been added there the logics of fact checking website operations just by using that doi we have been able to add it here if I want, I can create folders here. So just by clicking onto this, I can create a new collection. I can name it something, for example, digital journalism. And into my digital journalism folder, I can click and drag all these things. So this will be a part of digital journalism now. So if I click digital journalism, I see that this is inside the digital journalism. So if I have a number of different projects on which I'm working then this uh, use of folders is very useful if I have any duplicate item I can remove those duplicate items as well we can also add tags if required and we can also add notes so if there is any note that I want to add about a particular entry I can add it here I can add a tag so if I add a tag for example uh, citizen for example and if I add it I can see that the tag is visible here if we have a number of articles in a particular tag just by clicking onto this tag all those things will be displayed so if there is another thing which is there on citizen journalism I, for example if i add a similar tag to this one and if i click on to the citizen journalism i'll get these two articles i can also change the color of the tag for example i want to change the color as this then this color is also changed so tags are a good way of arranging our references we can also add related uh, articles so if some of the articles are related we can just click it here and we can add the related article so if we think that that is related to some other article for example if i think if we think that these two are related i can add it here and we'll see that these two appear together related articles is another way of uh, arranging my references now that we have all the uh, references in the library here we need to to work with the citation so for that we'll have to work on the preferences first let's go to edit preferences and there is this thing cite 
we first need to see the word processor here so for my computer it's been already installed here it installed already when the zotero was installed the zotero add-in the word was already installed now there are all these styles which are there by default we have the american psychological association 7th edition so we need to work with american psychological association 7th edition i'll just need to click that as we can see this was very recently updated so uh, let's click ok now on word we can see that this zotero add-in is already available here so it's available there as a default when zotero was installed so i need to click that and I can see there are these three important buttons. There is add edit citation, there is add note, there is add edit uh, bibliography, then there are the document preferences. If I want to change one particular style to another, I can just do that by click of a button. We can add in-text citations as we go along. So if I need to add a citation here, I just need to click here. any keyword here so whatever keyword is available i just need to uh, apply that I, I just put it here for example if i need to add another citation i'll just add those keywords again so these are two citations that i think that needs to go there i just need to push enter if there are other index citations i do the same thing i go to add citation i just go to some of the keywords that i think is required these are the ones that I could be looking for. This one. I can also edit the citations if I require by just double clicking that. If I want to add the page number, if I want to add a suffix, I want to omit the author, I can also open it in library. So these are the four citations that I have been able to insert in my Word document. Now I can also insert the bibliography, so the bibliography will contain all the articles that I have cited here in my document. So all the four articles that I have cited in my document earlier in the index citation will now appear in a bibliography as an APA format. So there are some wonderful uses of Zotero as we have seen. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it has been a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.